Daisy Senator Wendy Davis wants to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Greg Abbott at six debates. She's proposing the first one be hosted here in the Valley and two debates to focus solely on education and the economy. But Action 4 News contacted Greg Abbott, who says Davis is aiming too high as she has yet to accept an invitation to two established debates that he's already committed to. Wendy Davis! Texas gubernatorial Democratic candidate Wendy Davis stopped once again in the Rio Grande Valley as part of her campaign tour. This time, she brought along her running mate, Leticia Vandepoot, candidate for lieutenant governor. Both candidates spoke to a crowd of hundreds at Archer Park in McAllen during a pachanga. Party aside, Action 4 asked Davis about the six debates she's proposing leading up to the general elections in November. We need to go all over the state and assure that people who are going to make a big decision in November are sure about who they're voting for, what the differences are between us, and what it is that we'll offer them if we're elected. Senator Davis wants to debate her Republican opponent, Attorney General Greg Abbott, in San Antonio, Houston, Lubbock, Dallas, El Paso, and McAllen. And she's asking to move the first one, which is in McAllen, from September to June. We ask to be a voice for people in every community of 27 million people who live here. We don't ask only to serve two communities. And of course, right now, he's wanting to limit debates to that. The Democratic candidate is also proposing two of the debates should focus solely on education and the economy. More debates, Davis argues, will allow voters to truly get to know the candidates. A couple of our debates should take place in town hall type settings where people can ask questions that are important to them. Action 4 contacted Abbott's camp, which questions Davis' true commitment to multiple debates. In a statement, they say Greg Abbott is committed to engage in a discussion about issues by accepting debate invitations to be broadcast statewide. Meanwhile, Senator Davis has yet to accept a single debate invitation and appears to be using any excuse to avoid debating Greg Abbott. Davis says there's a scheduling conflict, but she will accept. I most certainly will be accepting debates. We, of course, are working right now on the schedule. As I said, I want to move that McAllen date up. Davis and Vandepute also commented on San Antonio Mayor Julian Castro's nomination to be the next U.S. Housing and Urban Development Secretary. They say they couldn't be more proud of him, and he's one of the best examples to the community. In the studio, Valeria Ponte, Action 4 News.